when you're in the camera business there comes a time where you have to throw some stuff out that's the throw out pile for the sort on the crazy picker life with wheeler dealer and banana peeler Welcome fellow pickers and would-be adventurers. Dealer here with the Saturday morning edition of the Crazy Picker Life. Well, that's not too bad of a pile. Um, we used to sell a few more things in lots and then realized that it just wasn't worth it old non-working camera bodies for the most part unless they're worth selling by themselves are not worth selling in lots we found people end up paying like 50 cents a camera body by the time you spend time to bubble wrap that and the whole works i'm not doing it so this time they're gonna go to a resting place somewhere in the dirt but when I went through everything, there are a few good lots to work with here. Wheeler's going to go through these filters one more time. I think I threw in uh, a tote of filters that have not been gone through. There's some that are worth some money here. So Wheeler's going to go through that before I list it. Uh, same with these adapters. He'll do a quick once through. This time we're going to have one lens lot. There's not quite as many bad lenses, which means we're picking uh, we're picking up better ones, and that's good. So one big lens lot, maybe a film lot, maybe a small instant camera lot. I'm going to have to look. I think I have some more of these. We used to sell the instant cameras and test them. Uh, that market has changed a lot. For the most part, unless we get something really scarce or rare or valuable, we just wholesale those out, let somebody else uh, refab them, work with it, whatever. Uh, straps, got a good pile of those, and then we get some uh, different types of uh, video recorder tapes. So I'll get those listed probably next week, probably Monday. Monday or Tuesday. I don't think that's going to happen today. I'm in early today. The first thing I need to do, I don't have a whole lot of orders, but I think I think I have six or seven. I'm just going to pack those and then we'll talk again. <clears throat> okay, well, packing done. Uh, as suspected, not too many. I counted eight there. Um, you know, it is what it is. I didn't have sales running over uh, over the nighttime. All my sales on my uh, different channels ended yesterday. Um, I think I have like 2,000 camera auctions ending today, so I probably won't run a sale on those. Usually when auctions come to a close, there's a flurry of activity urgency anyway, and so I'm not going to double up on that. Um, let's see what Wheeler wants to do. Wheeler came in early and of course he's doing some, uh, jamming, early morning jamming to, uh, what song? Whoa. <laughs> the screen bop on riff repeater just keeps going and going until they get it right, which it's weird, I got through all the speed levels until this one and I can't seem to get past it. So what was that show that we watched last night? I remember high school, rock and roll high school. Rock and roll yeah, high school with uh, with Riff. I can't think of her last name, but it was the Ramones, right? Yeah. So is this a Ramones tune? Mm-hmm. Working. Blitzkrieg Bop, I'm learning the main Blitz thing. Blitzkrieg Bop. Like... Let's go. Nope. I'm gonna get my amp on there. So yeah, it's, it, it's it's this is unplugged. <laughs> the Blitzkrieg. Well, it's plugged into this thing. It, yeah. It sound through there. Yeah, the Blitz, yeah. Blitzkrieg Bop unplugged. Yep. Uh, certain ones of my letters still I can't say them too loud here. You want to go uh, for a short break, or are you staying here? While well, we're going picking. 
for a few minutes. <laughs> sure. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go do that. Yeah, I still gotta be careful. I was drinking coffee through a straw and they told me don't drink through a straw because the suction can mess things up. So I stopped doing that. And then certain letters like B, B, B really stretch out that area or something. So the, um, what do you call that? The physical therapy continues. <laughs> okay, on the road. You never know what you're gonna get in Kansas weather. A nice little gentle, which is not often, a nice little gentle snowstorm here. Usually it's uh, dry snow and whooping in with some serious wind and weather. This is pretty gentle. I think it's supposed to be uh, 60 some degrees tomorrow and 80 by the end of the week. Craziest so, thing. So um, we're going to go to the post office here. Uh, <sighs> we can go to the flea market, which is our antique stop. Yeah. And or to the gun show. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about that. I really don't want to go to the gun show that because gun when show. I go to the gun show, I'm there for a while. And I see. I'm figuring we can go through it pretty quick. Well, in the time per stuff we find. I, I find it fun. I just like going through that kind of thing. It's in town. It's not like the flea market. I got, way out. I got things to do. They charge you four bucks to get in. I've got uh, plenty of guns plus these guns. I have guns. And um, Lon says I have plenty of guns. Knives? You want to look at a knife? Yeah, I want to look at knives because I just returned mine that it didn't. It had some manufacturing flaws. So I'm either gonna buy another one of those for big money, <laughs> or go spend it at the gun show. A lot of these guys that go to this show are old timer pickers, and so if you don't get there early, everything's picked over. I don't know. I'm into it. <laughs> I know you are. I don't want to avoid work. I got too much to do today. I just figured Plus, we go through in like 30 minutes. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe. Yeah. Plus, I'm supposed to do date night again tonight, mm. and and it's not that I'm supposed to do it. I want to do it. Yeah. I, I got invited, so I got to get my work done. Early bird gets a worm, and we weren't early enough. There's a picture of it. It's All right. So I'll put a picture right after this little blurb. But what did I get? Oh, I got another boat light made in Hong Kong. Weird little port and starboard boat light and a couple of Winchester. Paid 10 bucks for that. A couple of $3 Winchester belt buckles. Banana peeler can clean up those. Those pay for our... the ultra side cleaner. Huh? They're super. <laughs> those pay, uh, those, that pays for our $8 to get in. Yep. So anyway, I had $8 worth of fun there. $8 worth of fun. We're going to go to one more stop here. I've never seen, but interesting. See it. A, uh, a parts, like an auto parts manual book holder, kind of like a top of a bookshelf. On the back of it was this picture. 60 bucks is what somebody got this for. If you know anything about what I'm about to show you, I've sold a piece that was a clock. It went like lightning damaged. This piece would go for easily 300 online. The guy let it go for 60. It had sold written on it. Here it is. Okay, so we got uh, some cameras and a watch and a funny gift for my wife. <laughs> So yep. um, we'll show those off when we get back. We're heading back to the shop. Do you like what you got? Yep. I guess we'll talk about it Thumbs when up. you when you pull it out. All right. So like like I said, mostly uh, cameras. Um, what's the highlight here? Oh, uh, we have a Yashica G Electro here. These really vary. If you can test them out and they work correctly, we used to be able to get like 130 for them, but that's when we used to hold out with all our sales and stuff, probably 80 bucks. Yeah, you got a nice They're satellite, new in the box, yep. it looks like. New in the box. Sort of promo. A lot of these are faded and all this other stuff. Here's another one in a little bit worse shape. Mercury satellite. Still in nice shape. A couple other box it's cameras. Nice icon. It's box nice icon. I was going to show you the Polaroid so here. These are always good, although the market is a bit saturated on them. People. Yeah, people I think... The peak for them was four, three or four years ago. You could get like 300 plus for working one of those, but nowadays. Yeah, there's people that are refabbing them, and there's yeah. a lot of people that are doing. It's a well known camera by this point. Yeah. 
Okay, so that's it. Yep. Good, good camera stuff. Um, paid about $150, 100, $150 for all this stuff, and uh, we should be in line to what? Triple our money, whatever. Yeah. Yep. All as, stuff. as normal, what we aim for as a minimum. Yep. Let's put it up on my channel, a little bit more detailed, but. Well, yeah, that's how it is. <laughs> All right, I got a couple of things to do around here, and then I'm going to go home for some lunch and uh, do a few things around the house. As I mentioned, I'm going to go on a date with Flan tonight of some kind. I think, I think we're going to do uh, drinks and a movie, and maybe if I can find a place that serves some good soup, I might try that. I'm still hesitant to chew, but I'll tell you what. Uh, <laughs> Real food is starting to look pretty good, so I'm going to start chewing on some real easy to chew stuff today, I think. All right, let's, uh, let's get that done, and I'll be back to do the back room stuff. Well, as feared, today has gotten off track. I'm running out of time already. I'm back in the office, but basically I've gotten very little done here. Uh, so this is my storage room. Some of you have seen this many times. There's what's left of a big conglomerate of metal and wood. That's a Pepsi sign that's yellow. I took another one off that's still in one piece. I would like to get that off and then I think I have to cut this down and throw it away somehow. I would like to start organizing this and I'm gonna have to look around and sort of assess the order of things there's three or four different things back here one there's a heck of a lot of boxes at one time I got a whole bunch of different sizes of boxes thinking that I would expand out and have different sizes available well, it turned out I always like to use my sizes I already had, so I haven't been using those other sizes very much. It's really hard to use them when they're all stacked up like this. So that's one of the things that's back here. I got a free box cart in order to try all these different sizes of boxes. That didn't work out quite as planned, but I still do have my box cart, which actually may be going with us. This is old cardboard that banana peeler cut down. I think I'm going to load this up and get this out of here. That's going to be one of the things I do. It's a nice, calm, sunny day it's turned into, even though it's cool. Then we have a bunch of stuff that's not listed back here, including some stuff on this table and some signs around the table and some other signs and other signs and stuff all over. Some of the stuff on the shelf here is listed and some isn't. Then there's a bunch of stuff back here like that upright freezer and this chair and that chair and these chairs and that chair and that workout thing and that punching bag thing and some other things like that. This uh rolling stand and probably this bike and this fridge dorm fridge whatever you want to call it not sure what we're going to do with that thing yet super cool exercise from the 50s or whatever maybe earlier those kind of things are needing to be sold at our rummage sale we're going to have out front of the shop here on a nice Saturday or Friday, one of these days uh, pretty soon. And then there's a whole bunch of tools and uh, miscellaneous and wheeler stuff back here. So that's really what's back here. It all needs to be sorted out. The listed stuff needs to get listed. The stuff for the rummage sale needs to be moved this way. To get it out of here the boxes need to be all put over here somewhere my goal is to clear this out except for boxes and packing material along this wall and lay it out so that I can tell what's what and start using up the oddball size boxes when I can 
Originally this was going to be a little workout area. Uh, it never materialized, not because we don't like to work out, just plans changed. Um, and then I've got some things to list, obviously. So I'm going to assess what I need to do here, and then I'll report back. I've got, uh, uh, only got about two hours, and I need to meet with Lon. We're going to go out and have a few drinks, or at least I'm going to have a couple beers. She'll probably have one drink. Lon will have one drink, and then we're going to go to uh, the King Kong movie hang out then I'll be back so I'll probably come back and pack some orders and upload the vlog and all that so let me get um, let me get this cardboard loaded up that's a good start and take that and we'll see where we go so I'm gonna miss uh, I'm gonna miss having my my big van here if we go down to uh, two smaller vehicles, obviously I would get to drive the Jeep. I've been planning to um, put a roof rack on there for certain larger items, like if I buy a sign or you know just hauling some uh, lighter goods or picking and uh, have some special containers or tubs or something that I can fasten down up there but uh, it is nice especially now that my van's getting a little older it is nice to um, just be able to open up the back and throw stuff in there and it's a pretty good sized space etc so I am gonna miss that but you know as with anything I mean you can't have everything and so you have to weigh the pros and cons. I'm not 100% locked in to the current idea of U-Haul pulling the Jeep and another vehicle that my wife can drive. She doesn't want to drive a big vehicle and she, she won't drive a bigger vehicle. So there's a constraint there. Uh, Another thing I think I brought up is she doesn't want to live in a motorhome with six kids. And that's part of the reason that we're not motorhoming. So that's the way the deal is. So I'm going to go over to the cardboard. I was able to throw it all in the back, no problem. If I had a smaller vehicle, it would be more of a problem. I'm not sure what the cardboard situation is is going to be when we're on the road uh, however we've dealt with that in some capacity when we've went on 10 day road trips and things like that so we'll figure it out so i used to have to come over to the recycling center here this is the new building and i used to have to shove all the cardboard through a slot and they have since expanded to the second building and so now they do a lot of their their other work over there by the water tower and here you can just drive in and instead of having to take it all through the slot i can just put it all in that pile mark cardboard there and that is a lot easier so let me go ahead and unload that well, I'll tell you what, that's a lot easier than the way that we had to do it. Oh, man. So, uh, back to the shop, and I'll see what the next project is. This was some sort of a fence or a barn door or something. Uh, these are older Pepsi signs underneath. I don't think there's going to be enough left there to sell. I'll have to look at them. There is some embossed portions like on that there and i'm gonna see if i can get this off i've got most of it loosened up somebody used these uh kind of like screw in roofing nails to put that on there and i think there's about four or six more on there so i got some gloves and my hammer 
I'm gonna see if that's the way to go here. Well, there's a little more activity than my head and body wanted right now. Still kicking. So I had to get the crowbar out. <clears throat> I got that thing off. Uh, a lot of nails, the ones in the middle were pretty tough to get to. So it's embossed Pepsi. It's got the bottle cap. Say Pepsi, please. And you know, it, it's not a high dollar sign in that condition, but it is not very uh, available out there. So $100 plus shipping, I think somebody's gonna pop on that, even in this condition. This stuff, uh, unfortunately, is more trouble than it's worth. I'm not sure what exactly to do with it. Probably break it down a little bit. It's too bad these other signs aren't in better condition. These uh, these look like they used to be Pepsi signs, even one generation older. So who knows? But I got to get rid of this big piece. I'm gonna figure out either how to do that. I think most likely I'm going to set that against the wall over here for a rainy day when I can open up the garage and do some work outside and when I'm feeling a little more energetic. I don't want my blood pumping so much in my uh, my face and head. They told me if my head starts pumping a little bit like I'm pushing it too hard, I am pushing it too hard, so feeling that just a little bit. No big deal. Uh, so let's get this out of the way. Well, like I said, I, I gave in early to the idea I wasn't going to get enough done today. It's too bad, but it is the way it is. So, you know, I got a bunch of stuff moved out and staged here for out, out, out. And I cleared a path over here and moved some things around. Got that stuff organized. I don't know if it looks like much, but stuff is moving in the right direction. Some things are going out, out, and some things are moving back. Next week is gonna be a go week. It'll be a much better uh, week, and I'm gonna see a lot of progress back here. I feel like more like myself. Today, more and more, still some weird swelling, but they got in there and did it. <laughs> so whatever. I'm going to go wrap up a few other things in the office here and go home and have a little uh, soup. I did eat like a healthy Pop-Tart thing. My first solid food. That did okay, but chewing around it leaves all kinds of weird residue and crumbs get kind of up in there. So that's part of that problem. It's weird looking. Anyway, so I'm going to start a new thing today and I'm going to try to get on this habit, sort of like getting out running five days a week or drinking more water or any uh, good habit, getting to bed on time, whatever. I'm going to start either throwing one item or something out from the business here every day I'm in here and... Um, and or put it in the for sale, rummage sale, get it out of here pile. Some things I'm gonna try to sell or give away at the rummage sale before I throw them out. And then after that sale, I'll make a decision, depending on how much stuff sells, whatever, to pitch some of those items. Or uh, maybe have another sale, or take them home because we're gonna have a couple massive rummage sales uh, there to blow some stuff out so uh, that'll be good I'm actually gonna put a mark on the calendar starting next week and that will help me see how serious I am about that and it won't be long I mean the days go by quick you just start throwing stuff out it feels really good to do it I've got an item picked out today that I'm gonna throw out in fact let's just go look at that it was something that I bought 
that I thought was cool, but then again, there's always going to be items like that that don't turn out to be nearly as cool as you you think they are, right? Well, a couple problems with this item. Um, it's this big old round shipping barrel. It's kind of neat. Whatever, right? It's a wooden shipping barrel. And uh, I tried to give it to the museum here. They didn't want it. I looked online and the problem is the size and the shipping doesn't work real well. And the inside, I didn't know when you open it up, smells absolutely terrible and it's permeated, permeated into the, the wood inside. So not too attractive. So I'm throwing that out. Other than that, let's uh, go home and we'll say hi to Lon on the way out to have a couple uh, drinks and hang out and a movie. And then, uh, then I'll be back. Quite a beauty of a day here for starting out snowing. Calm, 45, 50 degrees. Almost want to go for a walk. Let's see what Lon says. Okay, well, I forgot my camera, so now I'm having to remember how to use my phone as a video source, right? There she is, my honey Lon in my van. How come we're in the van? like to feel big. I like to feel big, yeah. That's it. So, what are we doing? Feeding your alcoholic urges. Good grief, <laughs> feeding my alcoholic urges. <laughs> this is going to be a great date. Two for two. Alright, third question. How come we're seeing the movie I want and not the one you want? Because I spoil you rotten. Oh my goodness, two for three. No. One for three, that's 33%. That's better than a uh, shot in college hoops. So I'll take it. Okay, so we're gonna go have some fun and hopefully I remember to insert this footage since it's not on my regular camera. Wow, you're like a glow over there. It's beautiful. Okay, I wanna have a beer or two or more. Two probably. cold out there. I forgot my camera when I went on my date and then I went home and dropped my date off and I forgot to bring my camera back. So now I got my camera. Whoo! It's cold out there. Date equals great. Beer equals good. Movie, Kong, 8 out of 10. Lon thought it was a 5 at best out of 10. That is not surprising. And then there's Banana Peeler. What's the news, BP? Not much. Hmm. Got his belt buckles listed. Good deal. I have 8 orders to pack. I'm going to do that very soon. I'm going to end this vlog and be back on Monday with a Monday vlog. And then, there's Wheeler. Ooh, look at all that money. How's the pizza? Pretty good. How's the rocking out? I don't know. Whoa. Let's try something random right here. So I hear there's a rumor going around. Uh -huh. There's gonna be uh, uh, some music videos coming out of the crazy picker life. <laughs> hey, where do you hear that? I don't know, it's been floating around That's the office crazy. for a few days. Yeah. Some eBay related music videos. Yeah. Are in the works. That's what I hear. Yeah. I hear that in the hallways of the crazy picker life. Yep. So what else is going on? Big listing day, I see. Yep. Cool. Big listing day, working on it. Yeah, well we're gonna <coughs> It took me like two hours to reattach all the stupid little watch bands. They're too fiddly and tidy for me. Fingers do not work like that. Thick fingers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's all that um, scootering you're doing. Yeah. What else would you like to share with our audience? I don't know. Not much. I guess I sold those cubes, so those need a ship. Oh, uh, yeah. 
Well, how much did those sell for? 31 something plus shipping, so 45 total. Wow. I just discount all my cubes of I think they're 20%. So I should start popping off quick, quick, quick. Whoa, whoa, get them out. Yep, so I figured. All right, I'll let you go. I got to. I gotta get it going here because I've got eight orders before your order. Yeah. Okay, uh, daylight savings time. I already set my watch ahead, but it's uh, 9.54 p.m. I got about an hour. Get this vlog uploaded. Eight orders plus Wheeler's cube order. I don't think I can get it all done, but we'll do what we can do. Uh... No more beer in the house. <laughs> I'm drinking the Tropical Wild Tonic. This is a health drink. This is what it's come down to. <laughs> Dealers got to be healthy. The future is the future is the future. I was going to say the future is bright, but the future is the future. And um, I'm going to take that one day at a time. Tomorrow, Sunday, day off, day with the family. I don't think we're planning to do too much. Weather will be nice. Might uh, might play little uh, little hoops with the boys. That's what I'd like to do. Maybe take a walk with Lon. Yabba, 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 gabba, 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 hey. So, thanks for watching. I've been reading the comments. I know I said I wouldn't answer them, and then I did. And, um, late at night, some of the answers were a little weird. Sorry about that. <laughs> Woo, boy. Pick well, list off in. Back on Monday. <clears throat> Back on Monday. Dealer out. Hey, Wheeler. Dealer Production! <laughs>